D2DNY Rail World HVAC Simplified and now in this video <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you guys I'm gonna give be giving you guys a quick troubleshooting tip so <clears throat> customer have had another contractor looked at this unit this condenser unit and the contractor told him the compressor is bad right so he called me up for a second opinion so they did replace the capacitor right it's a brand brand new capacitor um and the compressor did not turn over so i came in i tested it <clears throat> energized the contactor right and um yeah didn't turn over same thing but before i give you this tip i want you to go ahead and uh uh subscribe if you have not subscribed and um smash that bell icon right so before i give you this tip so i went ahead disconnected the compressor wire from the capacitor like so and then I disconnected the other two wires from the contactor right here so this one right here this black one right here that's the compressor and this other red one right here goes to the compressor so I pulled them out <clears throat> and I put my meter on the uh, resistance scale and then I then I ohmed the compressor winding out so then I found out that one of the winding, one of the winding or one of the wires was open. So there was no resistance, there was no continuity, All right? So if you're a pro, you should know how to test for continuity in your resist, on your resistance scale. So once I, once I found that, I removed the cover, like you see right here, I take the top of the condenser off. And by the way, this thing needs to be clean. This thing is dirty, real dirty. But anyways. So there's what I, I found. Here's the reason why I wasn't getting any continuity on one of the windings because this wire has been completely burnt off and fell off the terminal, completely fell off the terminal. And that's the reason why the compressor didn't turn over because this wire is completely burnt off. And so, let's see if we can get you in here. You see what's going on. I think you can see that. So you see that terminal right there? I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up, clean it up with my wire brush. Use my wire brush and clean it up nice. I think that yellow wire is also a bit burned too. But I'm gonna clean that terminal up. Clean it up nice, clean it up real nice. And then reconnect that black wire. All right? Reconnect the black wire. That's your common, I believe. This is a C, a C wire. So I'm gonna clean it up, my wire brush. And then um, reconnect the wire and see if the compressor turned over. If it does, yeah, at least the customer could get another summer, maybe two, I don't know. Yeah, and then I'll be a hero, right? So yeah, this is for my subscribers. My subscribers and my viewers. You know, if you uh, go on a service call and um, you find that the compressor isn't turning over, you changed, you replaced the capacitor, um, you know, still don't turn over, you want to check your uh, your compressor windings to see if that you got all three connected. All right. And um, yeah, the compressor, typically if the compressor is hot, then, um, you know, you know, there's an internal overload. That will separate one of the uh, the common, but in this case, the compressor is cold. All right, it's cold. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead now and clean it up nice. Put the wire in, give it an old try. If it works, I'm gonna clean this condenser. And that's a tip for my subscribers and my viewers, right? Yo, this is awesome. So I'm gonna be the hero. <laughs> okay, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so I cut the wire back 
and as you could see you know squeezed on a connector on it so I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, put it onto the terminal I've already cleaned it up the terminals with my wire brush all right yeah so let's see if it's gonna work man let's just see if I uh if I you know can become the hero today and then uh you know give this client some more usage out of this unit all right stay tuned if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up right if you haven't subscribed subscribe you know what I mean and smash that bell icon because you know videos like these is what I upload real time real HVAC real world no editing it's the only place you're gonna find that all right there's value in this in these videos there's values for you uh, do it yourselfers beginners pros whatever all right stay tuned you know one thing I want to show you guys is that these aren't exactly the correct connectors for this terminal so you're gonna to have to use your screwdriver and sort of like a little bit widened it in the middle a little bit for it to fit but in the end make sure that it's on the terminals nice and tight and snug all right because if it's not and you happen to get the compressor going it's going to end up in the same spot all right because it was a loose terminal white burnt in the beginning or in the first place all right so it's on baby and that yellow wire the yellow wire it's just the insulation that's like burnt a little bit the insulation is burnt but the the, the wire is fine so i'm just gonna leave that the way it is all right the insulation is burnt but it didn't get to the wire the wire is fine there's no damage on the wire so pretty much that's where it's at it's on there and it's nice and snug I test it I can't pull it off it's tight nice and snug all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and give it that old try I think it's you think it's gonna work I don't know let's see let's see let's see I don't know if it's gonna work let's see um, it's gonna put the wires back reattach the disconnect and um, a disconnect switch and um, give it a little try stay tuned all right put this cover back on and test it